Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bright Side and day 17 of Vlogmas. Today, we're going to do something a bit special. For those of you that don't know, the 17th of December is, was, is, depending on how you look at Roman religion, is the start of the Saturnalia, or Saturnalia, depends on how you pronounce it. We are going to honour the Saturnalia by making a feast, a Roman feast. So food that the Romans themselves would have been familiar with. They did make some extraordinary food. Shelley and I have made Roman food before. We've got a couple of books and it's always turned out super delicious. So we're going to see what we can do today. We don't need the oven for this. We just need... The pot. Pot. What time it is it? What time is it? It is 9.56. Six. 9.56. Yes. Yes. So you my happy sous chef. Yeah. You can help me cook. Yeah. All right. Good boy. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Here is our delicious looking hunk of ham. We're going to just put that right on in there along with our bay leaves that we've picked from the garden and <clears throat> our, excuse me, and our delicious yeah. figs. Dicks. Yeah, figs. So they're all going to go in there and we're going to get that water boiling. Oh, look at that. It smells delicious. So this is the book that is inspiring us to make our ham pastry dinner later. The Cooking Apicius. I suppose it's pronounced Apicius. Apicius? A yeah, Apicius, I suppose. Um, awesome book by Sally Granger. We've, we've used many... Oh, we've used many uh, recipes in it. And we do have a, another um, Roman cookbook, which is, again, very good. We've done lots of things in this. Nice. So I've been thinking to myself, what is the actual link um, to sort of Roman cooking and Cornwall? Obviously, our channel is predominantly a family channel in Cornwall. We get out and about, we, we see Cornwall, we look at um, what it has to offer, the, the beautiful scenery, the cliffs, the coasts, etc. Um, along with the more, um, you know, um, along with the more sort of things like uh, little, the little small theme parks that we have down here, like Camel Creek and uh, Flambards. We also love Paradise Park over in Hale. You know, there's so much to do. But I was thinking to myself, what has, like, Roman cooking and our... our you know, we're going to focus today on the 17th for this episode of Vlogmas on the Saturnalia. And we thought, well, what has that got to do with Cornwall? And you know what? It has absolutely nothing to do with Cornwall. We thought, heck it. What does it matter? Um, I'm going to gather all the rest of the stuff that we need to take up to my mum and dad's. And then we'll see you up there later. So AJ and I have arrived at my mum and dad's house. So let's get cracking on this Roman cake. Right, so here's all our ingredients. We've got some warm water that'll activate the yeast. We have some crushed up anise seeds, um, the salt, honey, a couple of eggs in there, bicarb, lard, half a cup of lard, some pine nuts, there's a flour, about four and a half cups, and some warm milk, and then some Raisins. So, in the warm water has gone the yeast, the two packets of yeast, and I'm just gently mixing that up with two and a half cups of the flour, so not all of it, and the honey, and then we let it stand for 30 minutes. Oh, always stay hydrated. Right, so I just went to get AJ, but he's fast asleep on the couch, so we'll let him sleep. Right, so that's been 
sit in there for 30 minutes. So we'll get in our warm milk, our two eggs, a little bit of salt, a pinch of baking soda. Not sure if the Romans had baking soda, but this is a Roman menu, um, not menu, recipe. And then the lard. Mixy, mixy. Beat until smooth, this will take a while. Okay, this will be quicker. Yeah, well that worked. Right, adding in my anise seeds and some pine nuts. Get those in there. And then raisins. We'll give that a mix. All right. Right now to our gooey mix, we've got to add a bit more flour to make it into a more dough consistency. And then we're going to turn it out and give it a knead. somewhere warm and it should in theory double in size so what we're going to do is turn this out knock it back cut it in half put on the baking sheet and then let it rise again it's got a double then again in size so let's see how that goes right so I've knocked that back I'm gonna get a knife and cut it in half okay that's done so we'll make those into we'll reshape those make them round and then put them on there lovely so i have now put uh, like a an x in the middle of each one so we'll cover that back up and put that back in the airing cupboard so it's an hour later and i oh they have risen i would say that they have probably doubled in size nice La, 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 la. The big reveal. Look at that. Quite pleased with those. Awesome. So now what we've got to do, according to the recipe, is get some egg white mixed with a bit of water. So that's what I've done there. And put it on there. And then they go into the oven to cook. Bake. Yeah, bake, not cook. I suppose they cook, but they bake. You know what I mean. Do you cook a cake? Or do you bake a cake? You bake a cake, don't you? Yeah, hopefully, well, hopefully these are gonna be delicious. Right, so in they go, into the oven at, I've actually changed ovens. I was gonna do that one which is the big main oven, but I'm actually cooking the kids' dinner in that one. So I've swapped to that oven, and we're looking at about 325 Fahrenheit, or, I don't know, 160-ish Celsius. Many moons ago, I actually trained to be a baker, a um, long time ago, back in the mid-90s. Um, never have continued to... Uh, you know, I never pursued it as a career, but I did learn. I did learn uh, bakery in college. So, you know, reprising the old skills, I don't think I've done a bad job today. Right, if my timings are correct, the um, Roman Saturnalia cake should be ready to come out of the oven. It says cake. More of a bread. Cake, bread. Well, look at that. I do believe a Roman baker would be very pleased. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to try this later when Shelley finishes work as part of our Roman Saturnalia feast. The kids and I are going to head home now because um, it's getting a little bit late. Let's go home.
Right, so we're back home and we're now going to continue with the making of the ham in pastry. So let's get that done. Uh, 250 grams. Uh, are those big lines? 100? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, what is it in ounces? Come on, let's do it properly. Okay, that is eight and a half ounces. There we go. A little bit of salt. Right, so we give that a mix and we add in the water slowly. And it's a hundred mils of water. Now I can see that on there because you can see the where are we to? Hang on, there we go. You can see the hundred somewhere. Okay, let's forget that. Anyway, there's a hundred mils in there. So let's get stirring that, make it into a nice dough. Very simple dough. Just just flour, salt, olive oil, water. Right, so I've turned out our very simple pastry dough onto the um, counter here. Let's get it into a nice ball of dough. Right, so there is our pastry, all nicely kneaded. And just give it a little bit more to make sure it's smooth and ready to go. Feels good, looks good. All right, now we've got to cut that in half because we put two layers of the pastry over the joint of meat. Right, so rolling this out nice and thin. Right, now we've got to wrap this up. Good job, it is supposed to be thin. Shelley's home from work now. Hello. You alright? Yes. Good I day? Am, I am home. Good day? It was a day. It was a day. Right, cool. So, I spread the honey all over the meat and we're now going to wrap it up. Cool. Right, just spreading some oil in there to be sticky. Well that's wrapped up quite nicely so now we repeat the process with the second half of the pastry. Um, so we coat this with olive oil and then lay it into another ball of pastry um, and it make, and apparently it all makes it nice and crispy so um, let's see how that goes. I'm not sure what the fish juice was for maybe I missed something in the recipe. Oh well, never mind. That is ready for the oven. It'll take about an hour to cook, or at least until the pastry is sort of nice and light golden brown colour. Um, but yeah, about an hour in a 375 oven, uh, 190, something like that. So yeah, see you in a little while. Ah, figured out the fish juice. All right. Into a small pan, we pour in some of the cooking fluid along with some honey and the fish juice. All right, and then we'll bring that to the boil and I assume let it simmer so that it uh, thickens up and that will act as a sauce for the meat. Heating up our sauce. Might have added a bit too much fish juice. It's stronger than I thought. I'm pretty impressed with the um, ham covered in pastry. I think that looks pretty good. So that's our mains. Um, now that was the, the the juice that it was all cooked in back in the pan um, in the early stages and it was reduced down with a little bit of fish juice added to it and honey. Then we move over to a little bit of side salad, just some green salad with some vinegar tossed through it. And then this one is leeks and beets. So um, cooked, well steamed, yep. boiled, and um, uh, tossed together with some wine, 
some fish sauce, which was used a lot for like your salty seasoning. Yeah. And then cumin and pepper. Yeah. And then we move over to, now again, probably to us, more of a, I would say in the modern age, probably would be, a bread would be more descriptive. But um, this is like described as a cake in the Roman period. So this was obviously what we cooked up at my mum and dad's house. So that's looking pretty good. So that is pretty much it. That is our meal. And as you know, Shell Bell's home from work. And are you hungry? I am. You've got bored eggs. Yep, we've got, yep. Did they you talk about the, I, don't, I don't know, did I say a bit of bald eggs? Can't remember. Eggs were anyway. <laughs> so we thought yeah. it would be rude not to. Yeah, again, and we just got a little bit of um, wine to accompany the dish. So there we go. We're going to get it on our plates and tuck in. It's going to be hot. I know it is. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> what about your leeks and beets, or your salad, or your eggs? Right. So this is a this is a confession. Leeks and beets are not my favourite vegetables. However, for the purposes of today and our vlog, our vlogmas, our seventeenth vlogmas, we've tried episode, to keep it accurate. I tried to keep it accurate, so again, food that a Roman would recognise. So I will give it a go. Like I said, it's not my favourite type of vegetables, but... Uh... This is delicious. It's Roman cake that I've been slaving over all day. We're gonna see what it's like. Tear it open, look at that. Look at that, actually, it's really impressive. I like that. It's soft, it's light, it's airy, but then I suppose it was proved quite well. Let's see. This is what you do then, you just rip into it. Yeah. With your claw-like hands. Yeah. Let's just go for it, so some Roman Saturnalia cake, and it was specifically, it did specifically say Saturnalia cake in the rest in the recipe. So, um, I suppose that's why it's dried fruits and things because it's a winter, yeah. And they wouldn't have had necessarily the fresh fruits. I think we nailed that. High five. Yep. I think I could have been a Roman baker. Well, that was a quite a busy day actually. It was quite intense making. Um... Hey, right! I've worked very hard today. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, making that bread cake thing was that was quite intense, but it was good. I enjoyed it actually. Put some of my old skills to use. Um, I yeah, I, I enjoyed. The whole sort of process i enjoyed the organization like of making the um the ham and the pastry and we had to kind of split that in two because i needed to get the um uh, the ham cooked it was like i suppose it would be boiled wouldn't it technically um but yeah boiled like this morning because that would have taken ages and, and we would be here until like about midnight yes. if if we had been cooking that i would not have been happy coming in from work to have no. to wait for that to cook no definitely not so yeah um, but yeah, super fun vlog. Probably it's going to turn out a little bit of a longer vlog than expected. Certainly a longer vlog than most of the other vlogmases. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do give the video a big thumbs up. Hang on, because your arm's under mine. <laughs> <laughs> do subscribe to The Bright Side. It really does help the channel grow. Hit the notification bell and you won't miss out on any video. We're on social media. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at The Bright Side. So do check us out, do follow us on that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So from us to you, Eo yeah, Saturnalia. Fun fact, Eo Saturnalia is believed to be like a forerunner of um, Ho Ho Ho. So Eo, um, Ho Ho Ho, uh, as a forerunner to what Santa Claus would say in the modern age. Nerd.